We have with us today on the telephone Lou, Lou D'Agostino from the new hit ABC family series, The Vineyard. Uh, thank you for taking the time to speak with TeenInfinite.com today. Hey, no problem, Lee. Thanks for having me. Okay. Um, you're on the new hit series, uh, The Vineyards, on ABC Family, and we hope that everybody's watching this show. But for those who don't know much about the show, can you tell us what it's about? Sure. Um, you know, just to give you a, a brief description, it's about um, a bunch of um, a bunch of twenty-somethings, um, you know, living and working together at um, at this uh, for this company called the Black Dog, um, which um, you know they run a bakery, restaurant, um, dock, boat service, um, and uh, you know we're all kind of immersed in the same living quarters and. Um, you know, we uh, it, it basically um, you know follows each of our lives and, and what we're going through, and uh, uh, it's something for everyone to relate to because um, you know this isn't uh, we're not all um, you know going through the best of situations, and uh, you know some of us have great um, have great circumstances, but um, it's something uh, for everyone. So um, whether you're whether you're eight or twenty eight. Uh, there's something that someone, well, maybe not eight, maybe thirteen to twenty-eight. You can you can relate to what's going on. Uh, what is going to set this show apart from any other reality type series of, of, of the nature that it is? Well, from what I've seen of other reality shows, this is um, kind of a beast of its own. And um, you know, it throws people off because. Um, <laughs> It is complete reality, and uh, we are all being ourselves on TV and playing ourselves, which a lot of people, um, or some people are, are kind of uh, not understood because of the way it's shot, and because it's shot, um, you know, so beautifully, and uh, there's no uh, off-camera interviews or anything like that, and it rolls like a, uh, like a regular sitcom, I mean, people, uh, you know, get the misconception, excuse me, misconception that it is a sitcom, but in fact, this is, you know, it's a complete, this is all real life, you know, or real life, rather, and we're all playing ourselves, so I think that's what sets it apart, is that, um, you know, the way it's shot, and um, the fact that it's, it's real, and this is, you know, these are real people being themselves on TV, uh, kind of... As I've said before, it transcends the reality genre. Yeah. Well, and uh, it's more, uh, you know, it's, el it's eloquent. I don't know how else to put that without sounding, uh, you know, cheesy, but it's, it's, it's nice, you know, nice looking, and then you immerse it with characters that are going through, some of us are going through absolute hell at the moment, or we're not having the best relationships between each other, and when you, when you, uh, you know, bring those two together, it makes for, uh, you know, interesting TV. Is this the first time that you have been working in the entertainment industry, and especially with Disney? Um, yes. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm very new to the entertainment industry, and, um, you know, I've never worked at Disney before. Um, I watched a lot, a lot of Disney movies growing up. I don't know if that counts. Um, but, um, you know, I um, know I'm new to the entertainment industry and that, um, you know, um, besides making home movies with my friends, uh, this is a, a pretty pretty far cry than uh, what I'm used to. And, and it's awesome. I mean, uh, you know, it's been a great experience. Well, how did you get involved with the show? Um, uh, kind of, um, by chance, um, I was, um, walking, walking in Boston, um, and, uh, you know, someone approached me and asked me if I was interested in being on a reality show, um, to which, you know, I'm, I, if I could remember, I couldn't get first, I was like, uh, I don't know, <laughs> and I'm like, come on, give it a shot, and I gave it a shot, and, um, you know, I, it kind of, uh, you know, I went through the interview process, which, um, you know, I never thought I would end up on a, a reality show, on, a, on any TV show, rather. And, and uh, to 
to have just been on one. It's it's something that, I mean, when you put your personal life on TV, it's something that you have to have a lot of trust in the people who are making it. And, uh, you know, when I first met um, Dave Broom and Brian Smith, the, uh, the creators of the show, um, we, we hit it off right away. And, you know, they're like, you know, just... Um, just trust us they're like this isn't you know no matter you know what you do that right, just be yourself and i promise this isn't gonna look trashy they're like we're gonna make it look beautiful and um that's you know to their word uh, i mean that's exactly what happened so it's nice to have had them in my corner and uh you know i got to be myself on uh on camera which um you know after a couple of days you get used to yeah. Well, most without the shows are all about the drama, of course. Uh, but do you think that the camera captures accurately captures who you really are? Oh yes, without a doubt. I mean, I only know that because, um, you know, I mean, in the moment when we're when we're when the cameras are rolling, you know, I mean, I'm not going to change for just because the cameras on me and. Um, you know, I, I uh, when I watched it, you know, it's it's funny watching yourself on TV. But when I when I watched the show, I was like, "Holy cow, that's me!" <laughs> um, so, uh, <laughs> yep. Uh, so no, I think uh, it does a great job. I, I don't think I had to try too hard. I didn't have to try at all. Actually, I just had to be myself, and uh, you know, the people the people get what they see, and that's me. Are there things that films that the audience may never see, and how much input does the cast have over that? I'm sorry, say that again, Lee? I said, are there things that are filmed that the audience may never see, and how much input does the cast have over that? Um, well, the cast, I mean, we don't have, I mean, the only thing that we have to do is be ourselves, and that's, uh, we have the easy job because, I mean, uh, that's, not hard at all. I mean, the hard part is, I mean, um, you know, for the people putting the, the show together, but um, from, you know, what I've seen on of the show, I mean, what you see is, is what happened on the, on the island for eight weeks, and it's, uh, <laughs> it's pretty riveting stuff. I mean, the first three episodes are just kind of, you know, episode three kind of gets into more of the uh, the drama, which you said people like to see, and that's from here on out, uh, from episode four on, excuse me, that's um, that's what I can recall happened because there was a lot more uh, ups and downs and a lot more tension um, during the latter half of the season because at first, you know, we're kind of like, you know, we're all, you know, you know, it's like living with, with anyone at first, you know, you, you know, with the exception of... Uh, maybe John, who I've never had a reception where the first time I meet someone, he acts like a jerk to me. Um, but, uh, you know, you're going to you're gonna be nice to them. When you first meet someone, you're not going to act like, you know, act like a brick. So, <laughs> um, but then when you start to live with someone for four weeks, and then they start to get on your nerves, or, you know, you start to, you know, you're like, God, I really, I'm going to kill you if, like, you... <laughs> like, <laughs> If you take another 30-minute shower <laughs> and leave you with no hot water, <laughs> oh my! It's like you know. Then, then you get to then you get more into you know less you know playing nice and more um, you know too comfortable with someone. So that's uh, that's why uh, the latter half of the episodes are. Uh, it's going to be a little uh, amazing. <laughs> what you see. Uh, since you've been on the show, have you uh, been bitten by the entertainment bug and would like to pursue more options within the entertainment industry? Um, is that what they call it, the entertainment bug? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I, you know, I definitely um, hope that, um, you know, that I get to... Um, I hope that the cameras come back to Martha's Vineyard and, and we get to keep going because there's a lot of, uh, you know, loose ends that, uh, that need to be tied up. And, um, you know, I, uh, I mean, I, I love um, a lot of the people that I, got to, that I got to live with and I hope they come, you know, a couple of them come back to the island and, uh, you know, we keep, we keep doing what we're doing um, because... Um, it was an amazing experience, and uh, it's not something that I, I'd like to see end. 
Well, we wish you the best of luck with the vineyard, and we hope to see more of you, and uh, uh, good luck with everything. Hey, thank you, Lee. Hey, by the way, uh, you have one of the best accents I have ever heard, and uh, if you haven't pursued voiceover acting, I think you should get into it because, I mean, you got a min accent, my friend. Oh, well, I appreciate that, sir. I really do. I don't like it myself, but <laughs> everybody else seems to. <laughs> uh, it's awesome. All right. It's awesome. Well, thank you, and it's been a real pleasure talking with you today. Uh, you as well, Lee. Take care.